Hello everyone, how are you? So welcome back again to another lesson in IELTS reading module. For today's lesson is both for academic and GT IELTS candidates. And today we are going to talk about understanding features of a reading text or passage. So I just want to give you a general idea about IELTS reading text today because sometimes students face problems identifying uh, in different answers and different questions because they don't have a good idea about what's there in, inside the reading text. So that's why I have prepared this lesson for you. So let's go to uh, our lesson today, understanding the features of a reading text. And uh, in this lesson, you are going to learn the appearance of a reading text and then different parts of a reading text and uh, names and functions of those parts okay so we are going to do some exercise and i hope after successfully completing this lesson you will be able to identify all the different parts of an ielts reading text okay so i want you to look at the following text first but i don't want you to read the text okay just have an overview of the text whatever appears in front of you and just uh, have a look so don't read any of the text okay so as you can see uh, what we see here we find uh, a text with all its features here i want you to name those features okay so as you can see um, now we will do this following exercise together you have had a look at the text now let's see if you can do this uh, uh, exercise with me so as you can see uh, we have here label the following reading passages with correct letter in boxes A to G. I want you to label all those numbers uh, indicating something. So um, there is number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And I want you to name those places. Okay. So there are seven names for you. One is in A you have subheading, in B you have footnote or glossary, in C you have paragraph, in D you have figure illustration, in E you have caption, in F you have column. In G, you have a heading or title. So, can you name these places? Okay, I give you uh, about uh, one minute to have an idea about it. Okay. Okay, guys, so that's it. Uh, it's about one minute for us. And you can always come back to this lesson by you know, uh, rewinding it, uh, the video uh, backwards. So you can come back here and always do that size. So let's have a look at uh, all the names here. So can could you identify all the places here? Okay, let's have a look. So um, here's our answer. The first one is the heading our title which is deserts this is called the heading or title a heading always looks bigger uh, it's the biggest text uh, in a reading text okay and then you have the stark land of barrenness okay uh, which, which is uh, the subheading it's, it's uh, situated right under the heading or title then each of these uh, uh, parts uh, each of the text sections that you get here are called uh, the paragraph and then in number four, the, uh, the picture, which is uh, called the figure or illustration in IELTS. And uh, the text uh, just down the picture is uh, called the caption. Okay. And finally, if you look at paragraph number three, you will find a word named div with asterisk sign. And uh, right beneath the text, you have the asterisk sign and uh, uh, the description of the word div. And this place is called uh, a footnote or a glossary. So these are the basic parts of an IELTS text or any text in an English lesson. Uh, if you find any text, these are the six main or major 
features of an IELTS reading test. Now, why are they important? Because when you go to an IELTS coaching, an IELTS class, and when the teacher or trainer uh, starts a lesson in reading, sometimes he refers to paragraph number one or paragraph number two. Now, many students are there who do not have a good idea what a paragraph means. So I, I think after watching this lesson, you will understand what a paragraph means, what an illustration means, what a footnote or glossary means, what uh, what uh, the teachers are indicating uh, when they talk about the heading. All these are important because uh, if you don't have a good idea about the text, you will not find it easy to continue with the IELTS uh, um, uh, reading section. And uh, this makes you a bit more comfortable in uh, following your teacher's lectures, okay? So now let's have a you know clear idea about the, the different parts of the IELTS reading. The first one is heading or title. So what's a heading or title? Uh, heading is the first thing we can see when we begin to read a text. It is a big writing, generally much bigger than the te main text. Mostly it is in bold letters and bigger fonts right over the text. You can always go back here in this lesson and um, match uh, this uh, uh, these descriptions with the, each of the features. Okay, the next is subheading. So a subheading is a heading given to a subsection of a piece of writing. It is uh, generally located just under the main heading or headline of the text, and it provides a some idea or general idea about the reading text. So if you ha want to have a good idea about a reading text, but not reading the text, there is only one way to find that out, and it is by reading the heading. A title and if there is a subheading in the text okay then paragraph is uh, uh, the typically every smaller portion of a complete text every single portion of the complete text is called a paragraph then you have a figure or illustration a figure or illustration is uh, typically uh, a picture which is closely related to the given text as you can see uh, in the text we just gave you it was about desert so you saw a picture of a desert and people carrying a caravan okay so this is related to the text. Often it is given in the text to give readers a clear idea and necessary information about something in the text. Okay, so this is called a figure or illustration. Next comes uh, a caption. A caption is uh, a smaller writing or under, uh, near or under the figure or illustration in the text. Uh, it gives the details about the figure or picture and they are mostly in smaller fonts. Then you have a footnote or glossary as you saw. A footnote or glossary is an extra piece of information printed at the bottom of uh, a page in the text. It is also known as a note, marginal note, marginalia, annotation, comment, incidental remark, digression, parenthesis, uh, notation, commentary, etc. And a column. Uh, you will find a column. We didn't include column in this uh, text, but you will find a column in a newspaper. A column is one or more vertical blocks of the content position on a page uh, separated by gutters or vertical white space or rules in the li in these lines in this case uh, vertical lines so these are the all the uh, features of the reading text so i hope you have understood what a reading text means and uh, uh, what are the different features of a reading text i think uh, uh, this lesson is important for people in the beginner level because if you don't have any idea a good idea about all the part, name of, names of all the parts of the reading text it will be difficult for you to uh, listen to your teachers lectures or trainers lectures and it will be really difficult for you to follow them uh, accordingly so that's why i think uh, this lesson will be important for the beginners of the IELTS uh, lessons okay so thank you very much guys for watching this lesson if you have any queries you can always text me uh, you can always uh, um, reach me by my email uh, which is uh, ielsdeal at the rate of gmail.com and I'm always with you uh, with my channel ielsdeal uh, YouTube channel as well as my website ielsdeal.com I hope to see you in the very next lesson soon till then bye